What's up, survivors? Welcome back to another one. All right, guys, so this one is going to be a little bit of a juicy one today. Okay, so for you guys that have not been paying attention yet or haven't noticed, um, there has been some good news and some bad news that came out today. Um, first and foremost, uh, let's just get right to the bad news. Um, the RSI Galaxy, um, which was uh, rumored, at least in the last Citizen Con, not this current one, um, well, I would say more than rumored, but we, we, we had a feeling and we knew that it was going to eventually be used for base building. Well, unfortunately, it looks like the drone module portion of the base building mod that they were trying to work on is not cooperating in some way. And it's causing uh, problems with the new building model. And it looks like at the moment, base building module is officially canceled at the moment for the RSI Galaxy. Uh, right off the back. Uh, we got a, um, a post from John about it. He pretty much just openly said it. He didn't even hesitate. He just went right for the jugular. And honestly, I respect them for doing it this way. Um, he pretty much said there is no longer currently plans to develop a building module for the galaxy. The galaxy, as shown in during in the last Citizen Con 2953, was originally planned to have a building module included in the concept art. This is due to the changes on how base building works now. All right, and in the bottom, pretty much right off the bat, he says once again that the way base building works with the drones um, now does not lead itself, does not lean itself into the galaxy module layout due to the size and navigational requirements and of its existing features. Um, it would be significantly, uh, basically, it, it's the drones screwed it, is what happened. Uh, the navigational system for the drones and the way and the galaxy is built, it just does not support a building module at this time. They're going to have to rework it or think up a new way to do it. But as of right now, the Star Lancer build series is the only other series outside of the um, pioneer that will be able to do large buildings the galaxy is currently on the chopping block for base building that is unfortunate for you guys that bought the galaxy specifically for that reason i was one of them that was going to do it as well too <laughs> so but i respect the fact that they just came right out and told us without any you know dancing and you know twiddling our thumbs and trying to uh, you know hide the fact um I respect them for doing that. I, I understand that we're still, it's an alpha development game. Things are subject to change. I expect that. It just sucks that the Galaxy was one of those ships that got put on the chopping block for the building module. It just, it just is. If things happen, development, ch chan, uh, development plans change due to difficulties or lack of resources or whatever. Um, it sucks. It does. It sucks. You can call it false advertisement if it makes you feel better. Uh, for those of you guys that are going to be like that, but, um, I was still planning on getting a Star Lancer anyways, <laughs> because I'm not waiting for the galaxy. I already told myself I was actually going to melt my galaxy that I was planning on getting, um, at IAE this year and get the Star Lancer build when it came out. But now that they're not doing that, I'm not even going to bother getting the Star Lancer or I'm not even going to bother getting the Galaxy now. I'm just going to go straight for probably a Star Lancer Max and then upgrade it into a build uh, later because there's a high probability that the Star Lancer uh, build will be a little bit more expensive than the Max. Um, I don't see it being more expensive than the TAC, but we'll have to see. All right, guys, I'm going to plug this in here because mid editing this they actually put out another update to more clarify what's going on with the galaxy so he he uh he went back to the <laughs> to the drawing board i think somebody yelled at him um because he jumped the gun a little bit but either way what i've said so far hasn't really changed at all he just wants to clarify that the galaxy um, won't be the first building ship for the large building. It will eventually, like I was already saying, they probably just put it on the chopping block for now. But he did come back out and say, to clarify, the galaxy is still planned to have the building module. It just, it needs some work. It needs some time. So don't start melting them yet if you got one. 
Um, just keep in mind that the Star Lancer build will be the first ship in this series of ships that can build large bases. It will be the first one to come to the game. After that, they will release more ships, um, the Galaxy being one of them potentially in the future. So just wanted to get this out there um, since it popped up mid-edit so we can have it all out there in front ready to, to go. Um, other than that, guys, that is it for the bad news. Now for the good news. All right, so for the good news that is coming out today, hopefully their current goals today are to get uh, the hybrid fixes set up and done for the hot fix today so they can get the uh, live update done for that as well as move the client side hot fix into the live channel. If you didn't notice, they had a separate channel that you could download and do tests on, which was a hotfix channel for the current build of the game. They're hoping to get that pounded out today finally, so we could see um, more stability and a non-degraded performance because some of us would like to stop 30 k every 15 minutes. Um, and in other news, they also announced that they are officially going to be doing the third 4.0 Ibakavi test today. It is going to be for four to five hours. Um, they did not announce whether it was NDA or not, so I'm going to assume it is. So without further ado, we're just going to leave it at that. Expect that today for Ibakavi players. Um, and that is about it for today. So some juicy bad news and some juicy good news so anyways guys i'm gonna take off from here hopefully this information helped you guys out if you were looking forward towards one of these and in other news guys don't forget that my organization 12 blades international is recruiting new players returning players and veteran players for all roles uh, we are currently building up uh, don't forget you can be in more than one organization once the system is launched at least at the current information we have you can be in six organizations but only one of them can be your main so don't hesitate to join up with multiple organizations to expand your horizon other than that guys i will catch you guys later have a good day and peace out